my grandfather worked on this. So we are going to take this now and spin this. My name is Christopher Hauer. I'm from the Clock Repair People. Putting a clock together is a heck of a lot harder than taking it apart. And it's going to take time and you just have to have the patience. Family business, you're always in it. My grandfather started the business around 1936. Some of my fondest recollections of my father were he would bring work home and we would be sitting at the dining room table and he would have automobile clocks and he would take them apart. He'd hand it to my sister who would take it a little further apart. He would hand it to me. I would take it a little further apart, hand it back to my sister. She would put the new parts on. She'd hand it back to my father. He'd case it up and he would have these clocks running ticking like mad on the table. So at that time, I couldn't have been more than seven, eight years old. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm 14 years old and I am working on West Clocks Electric Clocks. Uh, we were the service station back then. And down here you have my father and my mother, my brother. And this was uh, the local paper in Park Slope did uh, th three generation businesses and we were in the paper for that. And down here's when we, we close the store. It's a shrinking business. There's fewer and fewer clock makers. There's fewer and fewer people that were places where you can go to be taught to, to do schools, uh, to do to learn clock making. And word of mouth is still my main way of, of getting work. Okay, thank you very if much. If you have any problem with it when, it, when it doesn't fit, you can give me a call or you can bring it back. Let me just figure out which one will be the best probably for you to, to do. And that's going to be repairman that um, is working on, on a clock when he's done marks the clock. So I might be pick up a clock that my grandfather fixed in 1936 or 1940 or my father fixed in 1950 or 1960. And it's kind of really nice to have that history going on. There's this history to the clock that is continually ongoing and I get to put my little little mark so somewhere down the line hopefully they'll say gee what was he doing at, at this time what was that time this is actually 1950s this building right here is the was the clock repair people yes, this is now a uh, Tex-Mex takeout place a lot of people have them only for uh, decor it, clock might not even be running but looks good in this corner of the room or this clock looks good on this desk and they'll buy it just for that there is time everywhere. Uh, you, as you said, you pick up your phone, there's the time. You're looking at the VCR, there's the time. The television, you put it on, there's the time, there's the date. The need for the, the clock doesn't really exist as it one, once did.